I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, bitch. You know, from television. Hi everybody, we're back for part two of answering questions for Neil deGrasse Tyson. The first part has already spurred some pretty interesting discussions in the comments. I'll definitely go through these comments and reply to some of them in a future video, so keep them coming. But for now, let's get back into the video. Question two. Am I able to see the curvature or not? Standing on the ground? No. The horizon will look flat and as if it's at eye level. Even if you get really far off the ground, like in an airplane, it'll remain mostly flat looking and be mostly at eye level. Once you get higher than that though, when you reach the edge of space, yes, you will be able to see the curvature. The reason this happens is that... Oh, uh, yeah, right, you're just about to tell me. According to you, you cannot see the curvature even from a plane because the Earth is so big. The Earth looks flat because one, you're not far enough away at your size. Two, your, your size isn't large enough relative to Earth to notice any curvature at all. Small sections of large curved surfaces will always look flat to little creatures that crawl upon it. Hang on a minute, my job's been done for me in your own video by the guy you're asking the questions. Oh, uh, there's more. Okay, I'll hear you out. But apparently, you can see ships disappear over the horizon. Now, the official explanation is that you cannot see the curvature across your vision. Hmm. Apparently, we see a horizon about five miles away. Actually, it's more like five kilometers, which is closer to three miles. That's for an average person standing at sea level. But all right, five miles, five kilometers, it doesn't really make a difference to your point, so we can let that go. So in five miles, there's enough curvature to see a ship disappear. Yet I cannot detect that curve over 10 miles because I can see five miles to my left and five miles to my right. No, that assumption is most definitely flawed. The arrows should be pointing this way. It's starting from you that you can see five kilometers out, not some arbitrary point on the horizon. So I've got an uninterrupted 10 mile span in which I should see enough curve to hide two ships, but I don't. So if I see enough curve over five miles, why don't I see it over 10 miles? Because you aren't seeing two points that are 10 miles apart. You're simply seeing 10 miles of horizon. All right, I've made an animation to demonstrate what I mean. This animation will look the same whether or not you believe that the earth is flat. Let us for the sake of argument, assume that the earth is flat. The horizon exists because of the vanishing point of perspective. All right, let's get into it. So this is you. We're looking at you from above. You're in the middle of the ocean. In a full circle around you, there's nothing but water. Anywhere you look, in the distance you see the horizon. So the radius of your field of view is five kilometers. You can't see further than five kilometers in any direction because of the horizon. That obviously gives your field of view a diameter of 10 kilometers. A human's field of view is roughly 130 degrees, but I'm gonna be super generous and give you the full 180 half circle in your field of view. This will also make the maths we need to do very easy. To calculate the length of the half circle you're seeing, we simply take the diameter of your field of view, multiply it with pi and divide by two, which gives us roughly 15 kilometers. That's how much of the horizon you're seeing looking in any one direction. Now, if we send a ship from your position in a straight line, it'll disappear after around five kilometers. Whether this is because of the vanishing point or because of the Earth's curvature doesn't matter. Let's assume it's simply because of perspective. I hope we can agree that this actually happens. If this didn't happen, you would be able to see all ships on the ocean when you're on the ocean. There is a point at which you can no longer see the other ships. It doesn't matter why it happens. It happens, I hope we can agree on that. This means that it is impossible to see ships that are as far apart as the amount of horizon you can see. If we take two ships and place them 15 kilometers apart, one or both of them are going to be beyond the horizon. You cannot see both of them at once, no matter how you position them. Going back to what you asked. So if I see enough curve over five miles, why don't I see it over 10 miles? Because you can only see five kilometers away. You might see the horizon stretch 10 kilometers in front of you, but then you're seeing an arc. The only configuration that would make you see two ships disappear at once is the one that's on the screen right now. If you place them both at opposite horizons, yes, you'll see the curvature over 10 miles or 10 kilometers. Kind of. The horizon is not straight. Even on the flat earth, the horizon is an arc. Actually, it's a circle that goes all the way around you. Because you see the horizon at equal distance in all directions. That means it has to be a circle around you. 
So to summarize, this question is wrong because your assumptions are wrong. Following on for that, question three. Why haven't we ever seen curved water? What do you mean? Water curves all the time. If the Earth bends the water into a sphere around it... Oh shit, you're going here. Okay, I see. I'm following. No, Earth doesn't bend water into a sphere around it. Water is level. It just so happens that Earth is a sphere and the water is finding its level around the sphere because of gravity. Then, if it was to freeze suddenly, we should detect a hump in the water, shouldn't we? What? A hump? What do you mean? No. It would follow Earth's curvature, sure, but why would there be a hump? So why is it that when Lake Baikal in Siberia freezes over, it is one of the flattest places on Earth, despite being 395 miles long and 49 miles wide? There should be a hump in the middle of it, nearly 20 miles high. It really makes no sense why you think there'd be a hump. Obviously any curve would be, well, curved. It would be smooth and it would follow Earth's curvature. Which it does. It's important to remember that at any point of the Earth, down is where the gravity points. So the lake has a lot of different places that are down. There's no universal down direction. It totally depends on where you're standing. Gravity does not work like this. So why haven't we ever seen curved water? For the same reason we haven't seen curved land. The Earth is simply too big for us to observe its curvature. Alright guys, that's it for this one. Next time we'll explain how pressure and vacuums interact with each other and why they work the way they do. That'll be fun. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this. As usual, if you think I got anything wrong, feel free to leave a comment below. I'm definitely keen on reading those. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see y'all next time.